Okay, Coach Sauter. So I was just talking to Logan, your son. Yes. He's pretty good at wrestling. Yeah, he's not bad. He yeah. works hard. You win the OEC. He won the toughest division in OEC. Division three is the toughest division. Yeah, last year. So he right? was D four this year. D four so. this year. And what happens is, you know, talking to Jared, Jared Offer, he runs the OEC. Yeah. He says that specialization starts when in D four will actually kind of there'll be some fall off. Right. So he won D three. It's before specialization, right? Right. So yeah. that says a lot about him. But um. It's football. It's football Absolutely, season, right? Man, that's right? why we're here. Yes. Okay. Yes. So let's just talk about how how you've trained, uh, you know, Logan and yours coaching football, yes. right? And how has it helped him? His wrestling helped his football, and his football helped his wrestling. One hand washes the other, right? Absolutely, it does. Yes. Cool. I remember he was seven years old, started out, couldn't do front rolls, couldn't do nothing. So I hear him in the in the hallway, and I would hear thump thump. I look out, and there he is doing front rolls. He's. Uh, He's trying to get better at it. And I just tell him and instill in him, hey, hard work be breeds champions. So basically, I work with the youth around Urbana, a lot of them, and I have like voluntary workouts and wrestling helps with double leg blast. That's a that's a football tackle. Okay, the eyes through the thighs, you just drive through and make tackles. And it just, I don't know, if, if you play football, you should wrestle. If you wrestle, you should play football. That's, that's the way I think. I mean, when you watch some of these guys, these NFL guys, or if you look at some oh, of your yeah. defensive linemen in the Big Ten, yes. there's a, there's a, I mean, the Iowa Hawkeyes. You look at the yes. Iowa Hawkeyes offensive line, all of them have a wrestling, all they all have a wrestling background. Two or three of them are state champs. Yep. Right. I think that that says it right there, but the proof's in the pudding. Um, You've got a lot of wrestlers on the team. Oh, uh, we have, I think, 14 or so or something. Wrestlers on the Urbanist football team? 22 of them here. And Holy smokes. Around 14 of them wrestle. And then. A lot of them are sixth grader, but we have a real good fifth grade class coming up. So in the future, Banner Wrestling, is, it's going to come up. And we got a lot of hardworking kids and a lot of good coaches, Coach Shore and Ross Thatcher. They've been wonders with my son and a couple other kids. No, no, no. You know, it, what's crazy is you're talking about these guys. you got Jordans right down the road, too, yeah, right? Yes, They're from Urbana. Yes, yes. So it's crazy. Like, oh, you guys are in wrestling bed. country. Yes. You are in wrestling country, no yes. question and about Bird it. Bird, too. Cameron Doggett did Bird. Jeez, oh, right Yeah, there. right? They're, they've been champs. Yes. Two out of the three divisions in, in Ohio, I think, two or three years ago. Yeah, three years ago. Bird and Grand. Yeah. <laughs> Champaign yes. County. Yes. Yes. Champaign yes. County, the hot spot, right? Absolutely. And, and, and not, not well, a right big county. Middle. Yeah, and you're right in the middle. You're right in between them, right? Yes. yes. It's crazy. Okay. So, um, what do you ultimately want, Logan? What do you want all the wrestlers? What do you want them to get out of football? And what do you want them to get out of wrestling and apply it to life? I just, I really think that uh, just like hard work, knowing like if, if things get tough, you got to fight through it. I mean, I've had, I've, I've had a lot of, not bad issues or nothing. I just, my parents, I mean, I've had a really had a rough time, but I want to let them know that, I don't know, if you work hard, you, you get good, you get good things. And you can't be lazy. You have to get up and do it. I mean, oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> it's real hard, right? I mean, it, life's pretty easy. After a wrestling season. Oh, absolutely, yes. <laughs> hey, Going to work at a job at, at a factory or yeah. going and, you know, doing whatever, being a police officer or whatever, it's, it's a little bit easier when you've wrestled a season. Absolutely. No question about it, right? Yes. All right, and then Coach Shore's the man. Oh, he's, Coach Shore is oh, the man. Yeah, dude, that room, if when you walk in there, it's just like a, an atmosphere you just you can't explain. It's like it's just – and them kids like Max and Cooper and, and Spinny and Olivia, they just – they're the awesomest kids, and Tracy, just, just wonderful people. And Ross is amazing. Ross too. is the man. I was going to say, Ross, you know, I, I've yes. dealt with him before, you know, and he went from being a high level college coach right. to a club and coach. How he's done it, right? I mean, he, he works so well with the kids, and he's really, really particular on like where they put their hands and what they do. It just makes good wrestling. Attention to detail, no question, yes. with Ross Thatcher. Um, and if you look, Ross has, has either coached or wrestled at. Three of the top programs right. in the history of college yeah. wrestling. You know, Oklahoma. He was a coach there. Obviously, Ohio yeah. State with coach with Kyle Snyder and you know the, the teams oh, that yeah, he had there. And obviously, and an All American at Penn State, right? The, the people that, that come in that room, they just make each other better. Yeah. So that's, all right. What's football? I gotta let you guys get right. right. We we're, look, we already got wrestling on the brain. You, all right. We win this next, and we're in the ship. All right. right. Hey. So, good luck. Thank you. Thank you for talk, telling me about the relationship between wrestling, and we're going to be seeing you guys a bunch down the road. Absolutely. And, and keep scrapping, coach. Yes. Thank you.